Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the trendiest entertainment stories. Thank you for staying with us. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got Ife Olua Oshunkeye and Nimi Dekombi here with me. What's up? Yay. How you doing? Good. I'm good. First time I'm set with Elsie. Yeah, it's yeah. About to be late. First time I'm set. <laughs> hmm? Like you, first time I'm set with me. No, me. No, I'm talking oh, about okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so we yeah, do the drum roll for the both of you. Good to All have right. you. Yeah, thank you. All right, so let's start with um, Kevin Spacey's accuser, Ari Ben, who commits suicide at the age of 47. He was an author and ex-husband of Princess Martha Lewis. His manager informed Norwegian media that the writer had taken his own life on Christmas Day. The statement read, and I quote, it's with great sorrow in our hearts that we, those closest to Ari Ben, must report that he took his own life today. We ask for respect for our private lives and the time to come. Calm, end of quote. He married Princess Martha Lewis in 2002 as a commoner marrying into the Norwegian family. Ben was not given any titles. The couple separated in 2016 and divorced a year later, the first time that had happened in the Norwegian royal family. He was known for writing the short story collection Sad as Hell, also found success as an artist and playwright. In 2017, he accused Spacey of groping at a concert for the Nobel Peace Prize. 10 years earlier. So, mm, very, very <laughs> the conspiracy deep. theory just keeps going high and high yeah. and high. And I don't know, for Kevin, I don't know what to say. Well, to be honest, I think it's very, very suspicious that um, Ari Ben is committing suicide, mm -hmm. quote unquote, a few hours after Kevin Spacey drops the video. Mm -hmm. Because this is like um, Kevin Spacey's first time um, this year of dropping a video or addressing people on his page, on mm. his YouTube page. And it's very, very suspicious that a few hours after he drops this video and he says, kill them, like if people do things that you don't like, then you should not react that you should kill them with kindness. I find it very suspicious that a few hours after he drops this kind of message, the person that accused him of sexually groping him is now dead. But well, that's not kind. <laughs> exactly. Dead. A lot of so, people are just like, this is the third person that is accusing Kevin Spacey and is dying under mysterious circumstances. The first person was the, a man and they just announced that he was dead when he was, instead of pushing forward, um, pushing the um, lawsuit, yeah, pushing, um, pushing the case against him forward, they came to the court and they said that he was dead. Then the yeah, other lady that accused him, supposed to appear in court then, that he died. died. Mm. The other lady that accused him, she died in a hit and run accident. And then now this other guy too is dead in an apparent suicide. Mm -hmm. So I just find it very suspicious. Why is it that the people that are accusing this man of you know, sexual misconduct, why are all of them turning out to be dead? Mm -hmm. It's just, I don't know, I just have, it, it, ha it has weird vibes. This is a very this. dicey case and um, one has to treat it with caution because mm -hmm. a lot of things you say because you don't even know about, um, we don't know if this is a coincidence or if this is foul play, so. <sighs> A lot of people are sensing foul play, but being on their personalities, we have to be very <laughs> careful about yeah, what we say. Yes. But obviously, well, I, I think this is a typical house of cards um, that is happening in reality. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. well, I mean, maybe because house of cards um, had like a vibe as this mm -hmm. one yes. people are saying so. But I don't know. This is not the first time Kevin is putting out a video on Christmas. Yeah. He did that last year, and nobody died for last yes. year. So, and the message in the video he put out is one I think we all should take to heart because whether we decide to interpret the die as literal yeah. death, yeah. people keep saying kill people with kindness, like it's a phrase. Besides, he did, he did not yeah. start it, right? The kindness, yeah, he, said, he could have said kill them with yeah, and whatever. Yeah. Forgetting about this death now, if you look at the video and what he put out saying that the year has been good and all that, it's something that could genuinely that he mm -hmm. could genuinely say, could if not for this, if not for this whole yeah. news, it was yeah. a video that people were beginning to relate to what he has gone through over yeah. the years, having to be taken away from um, House, House of, of cards, cards, and then his career went way down. And he still, I, I just like the positive yeah. vibe mm. he puts to it. And because we don't have a lot of people with this type of positive vibe, it is easy for people to want to interpret 
his positive vibe to be that there is something he's doing beneath. But let's not forget yeah. about this guy who has died. And we are saying rest in peace. I mean, he has yeah, children, right? I know his ex-wife has been. And he's done, done a lot too. Yeah, yeah he has been moved on. But yeah. he had, he had like a pattern of um, mental health issues. Yeah, yeah someone who that. wrote something. Was it a sad hell yeah. series or something? Sad story. I yeah. can't remember right now. So he had that pattern already. Mm -hmm. So him taking his life is not um, alien. Yeah. And also, it's even if if we also want to play the card that maybe Ke uh, Kevin did it, then it's easier to also trigger him. I don't even him. want to even mention so, yeah. that. Not, no, 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 no. Okay, people might. People might. Did, people did, you, did you watch the video on YouTube? Yeah, did. did you see the comments? Yeah, yeah a lot of people were saying that there was something for foul play. I don't believe it. I think he just has like a very, very, very And also, I still think that even if like maybe Kevin did not have a direct hand in mm -hmm. his death. He would have had an indirect hand. Mm. In what in way death exactly? Because he was sexually harassed. He wasn't proving by... guilty on that case. So yes, we cannot if, say if that's if. So we cannot was, say he, he indirectly, might have had okay. you know. A hand and this man a, said this happened death. ten years ago and ten years ago. Um, when he came out was 2017. He this is he was 47 now, mm -hmm. yes. so he was like 45, and then it happened that uh, when he was 35. So he wasn't a child. And from the way he narrated the story, they were at a gathering. Mm -hmm. Kevin asked him um, to come out for a conversation or something, mm -hmm. and then he put his hand on that table pattern. and groped him. Uh, the same normal mm -hmm. pattern people are talking about. Yes. But uh, everything is still what ifs. At the but, end of the day, they'll um, tell you. It but wasn't I, I still but think it was. And this it's particular case. Yeah, but all that case was not concluded because this same guy was not showing up in court. Obviously, it's funny, but um, I don't even want to focus on what happened. May the guy so rest in peace. Yeah. But um, I'm thinking about it from the angle of Al Kelly in jail, Bill Cosby in jail, mm -hmm. Kevin Spacey is still walking free and your accusers dying. Exactly. Um, Abby Weinstein is still walking free and even trying to get medical... Um, excuses. excuses not to be in jail mm. and all of that. So I think the um, American legal system should do better because yes. the people that are supposed to be behind bars are actually walking free. Walking Even free. though Kevin Spacey's case hasn't been concluded, let's just say it plays out, but I think it's taking too long. Yeah, it's taking too long. And I just I, hope I, more people won't die. I before. think the charges against him have been dropped because there's some he's yeah. investigated. Yeah. What if done, everyone who accused that. Kevin Spacey just drops dead and then? Then we can't say that there's something fishy going on. Then they will be um, investigating him for murder. Well, yes, keep investigating him, but until you find something that links him to the death of these people, you really can't mm -hmm. do anything. That's Definitely. if he did. So yeah. for me, it's I don't. I, I feel theories. like this whole coincidence is too much. And sometimes I actually worry for Kevin himself. What if? Truly, he has nothing to do. I'm not saying he did not group anybody. I don't and maybe know a that. fan is just you know, doing this for him. Do you know? So fan. people can be yeah, that people creepy. Are, people love House of Cards so much you that know, they can so do anything. I don't so know. Know. A fan is killing his accusers. Well, this happen. is not American film. Let's focus. <laughs> 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 okay, still in the spirit of the season, Ricardo Banks decides to show up at the homes of some of his fans to wish them Merry Christmas. And they were quite excited about yeah, it. So I think this is a good one, I think. Yeah. And um, I mean, people who vibe with you, uh, which artist would show up at your doorstep and you'd be very happy? You already know. Huh? Whiskey. Whiskey. My phone call. Of um, course. For you? Well, really my eyes. <laughs> for me? Mm. Ah, are mm. you talking about Nigeria? If you're talking yeah, about Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. Yeah, obviously whiskey. Mm -hmm. I think whiskey too. Mm. I actually really like whiskey. I'm thinking of mine. Like, I, I've, the one I would like, love to say, okay, I want to show up on my doorstep is someone mm. I have seen and seen. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. well, it's mm. still, it's still. Johnny Drill. Oh. <laughs> Who? Fast the bad guy. What's oh, okay. Are you serious? Well, my crush of life. Guy he knows. No, you know. Mm. So that's um, if there's, yeah. he's not going to. Except he wants to come and propose. Then you know. Okay. Different. Wow, they are shooting short though. No, exactly. Well, I, I think what Ricardo did was very, very interesting. But I'm just wondering, like, on what basis did he select those that he was going to visit? You no, know, there could be so many ways to select them. Probably from those who streamed his song, those who are constant followers on Instagram. What about the What about the addresses? Those who drop comments. And I mean, if someone DMs you to say, and you know, some of their their managers and um, 
um, producers, they know mm -hmm. how to actually fish out these people. Okay. So it will be easier for them to get the address mm -hmm. than for a Ricardo to actually sit down I don't follow and I think him. they were actually surprised yes. that. And because actually, I don't yeah. follow him, you don't know maybe he did a live video, video. that he That's said, what I'm okay. saying. Maybe he did a video so that. Uh, I won't really be able to comment on this because I really do not follow him. But mm -hmm. um, I think it's kind and I think yeah. it's amazing because um, Christmas is the time to give back. And yes, these are the people that buy your music, these are the people that listen, these are the people that put money in your pocket, these are the people that make you relevant. Mm -hmm. So I think this is um, a very kind gesture for um, Ricardo Banks and big shout out to him on this one. Yeah. I think since the left Mavens has been doing some boss moves, Come been on. making some boss moves. Which boss moves? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. Which other anyway, boss moves? Move. Put in pressure. <laughs> <It's> put <laughs> in pressure. <laughs> Moving on to the next story is Latan is saying nothing can stop him from becoming a father in 2020. Man, as long as you have your, you know, the third leg, um, it is fatal, and there's a woman who is interested, and you have money, really, nothing can stop you. you um, a fan asked him that, um, <laughs> what happened to 2019 and why didn't you become? He said he so didn't no have money, money for, for Pampas, Pampas, but I now realize that okay, David Do has started, mm -hmm. um, what's it called, um, diaper line for mm -hmm. Ifani, oh, really? so yeah, he did that, and um, so now he's free diaper for, for no, Zaza. I mean, Ifani is a, an ambassador for a diaper line actually are you sure it's yeah, not an for, okay for yeah. yeah but regardless free mm -hmm. diapers are coming how, in how, anyway. how does that translate to free diapers is this guy now so oh. as as long as david is getting for me fine you can take baba give me five <laughs> <All right>. for <laughs> the week <laughs> Well, a big shout out for to Zlatan. Me. I wonder what happened to his um, girlfriend, the mm. one he was always posting. Mm. Because now I see her a lot with Naira Mali and I don't see her with Zlatan anymore. The so. girlfriend with Naira Mali. Yeah, not there. Like she rolls with Naira Mali. She was yeah, his maybe girlfriend. Yeah, they're just friends. Well, they're Naira Mali and Zlatan are friends. Yeah, but I haven't been seeing okay. her with... But you know how, you been know how when Simi and Adekunle Gold were actually yeah. dating, mm. Yawa thought she was dating Fals. Fals. Mm. And they were all just rolling together and just... No, I'm not even talking about seeing her with Naira Mali in that context context of mm -hmm. dating but she's always at his concert backstage with Naira Mali and all of that so I'm wondering why she's not always with Zlatan like she used to mm -hmm. and I just hope um, there's no trouble in paradise because I think he got a Benz like earlier this year right mm -hmm. and yeah so maybe, like I said maybe they're making maybe some underground moves now that Zlatan is talking about I hope she's the one yeah, though because um, she really tried for him I think mm -hmm. she was the one who introduced him to a lot of big names she's also an artist manager and uh, mm. so I think she really tried for now she you said that she's an artist manager so maybe she's just so maybe doing she's her just job, doing yeah, her job yeah. 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 managing mm. the show managing everything and so. maybe I think and maybe she'll be the baby mama let's just so she becomes the baby mama maybe Zlatan is going to propose soon exactly for him to be saying that he's ready to be Daddy. I'm watching that space. Mm. Oh. I'm talking about pro um, pro um, did I say okay proposing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gideoni and Kaffee, we didn't get to talk about it. Yeah. Congratulations to Yeah, them. congratulations to Gideoni and Kaffee. Okay, so moving on, we're going on for a quick break, but when we come back, we have more to discuss. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Right now? Oh, <laughs> are you? A plus TV Africa, we feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Tilti Time on Plus TV Africa. Nigerian singer um, Joshua Inyezo popularly known as Solista, escapes death after drug overdose, realizing that there is a thin line between life and death. Mm. Wow. And he put up something too. Yeah, he said there's a thin line between life and death. The incidents that happened a few days ago showed how fragile I am by the overdose usage of drugs that led to him bleeding in the attempt of a couple thought process. <laughs> Sincere apologies to whomever I might have hurt, but hey, 
love is the sweetest and slowest form of suicide. So is that like it? I don't understand. What is the last sentence for? Love, love is, is the sweetest form of suicide. Maybe he's trying to get somebody's attention. I think it's about um, his um, girlfriend. Or oh. is it, I, don't know, I don't know about their relationships. That mm -hmm. Maybe they were married. I know he had a kid with an American yeah. lady and all. Yeah. So maybe he's trying to let you know that it's because of his wife that left yeah, that he's reduced. now into drugs but regardless we've seen a lot of american artists um die from yeah, drug exactly. overdose i don't so. think that's something that we should start doing in nigeria so this just gives me this just makes it look like what YC said that they now share mm -hmm. cocaine like it's biscuits in Nigeria. Yeah. It makes it look like it's actually true. Like this like is what is actually. But it's true now. But YC to be saying it is true. Yeah, but at in, the end of the day, Lagos, well, Nigeria, depending on Lagos. the people you hang out with, do you get offered cooking? There was a day they I were sharing some celebrities. Tea. I did not collect. I don't know if it's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, he's talking about so celebrities. In the celebrity yeah, circle. In the celebrity and then circle. when you're talking about bleeding, um, the only thing that comes to mind is still same cocaine. Mm -hmm. if you're, because he didn't specify what drug he took. It's yeah. still cocaine, maybe from the nose. And I, um, mm -hmm. I read up on it as well. And it says it causes um, bleeding diarrhea as well. Oh. So I don't know if, I don't, well, That's whatever nice. it is. Um, I hope he learns from this yeah. because it doesn't sound like he's learning. He's mm -hmm. sounding like, well, sorry I did it. Um, well, doesn't, you know why I did like it. He's repentant you know, so I just hope that he gets the help he needs because yeah. I know he needs help and I hope that he understands that if a person and that's if this is the case, mm -hmm. if a person is done and don't want the relationship anymore, you can't blackmail them back, especially if the woman knows what she wants for herself and she's truly and done. I think so this is a, he needs to pick his life together. Yeah, this is I'll a say, way to I'll call say up. this that you've seen several examples of stars who have died in this decade mm -hmm. alone or from overdose. So I feel like that should like set an example for you and you should be cautious if you still want to do these drugs mm. then you should know the amount that you should take that would not need to yeah. overdose yeah, I'm, saying, if you still, <laughs> no, I'm serious because i watched i saw an ad by no norwegian authorities mm -hmm. they didn't come out they were trying to do a, an ad to like stop drug abuse mm -hmm. they didn't come out saying drug abuse is bad stop doing drugs blah blah blah, blah. they said that if you want to take these drugs this is the amount you should take if you if you ha if you have a friend that overdoses on this drug, this is the drug you should give the person so that the person does not die. Mm -hmm. So they are focusing not on trying to say, okay, don't do drugs, because they know that even if you keep on shouting, don't do drugs, don't do drugs, people, people will still, still do. do drugs. I mean, you make marijuana illegal, people still find ways to have to buy these things. People still find ways to buy cocaine. So what they are doing is they are trying to let people be aware of the amount of these things that they mm -hmm. should take and the amount that would lead to an overdose. So I'm saying that even if you want to. Um, you know, like go on with this lifestyle. Then know the amount you should take. Regulate the amount you take so that you will not die well, and I leave your it, child fatherless. I think it makes fatherless. sense because you you can't really make people not yeah. do what they what want they to want do. To they do. will find a way to do it. Even yeah. when you now make it illegal, the price goes up, and they will still find that money to mm. buy it and do what they, they want to do. Will. So um, I think too much of everything is bad. It's Even bad, water yeah. can kill you if yeah. you have too much. Yeah. Food can kill you. If well, you have too I just much, think. So. Um, this one is a call to every artist out there that feel yeah. like um, drugs is the mm -hmm. source of their inspiration <laughs> before they can make music. I think um, Solid Stars example should be perfect yeah. for you to know that. Okay, it's not just artists it. though. Yeah, like different people, people, yeah, really. people are different people drugs. do drugs. People are different people. The only they thing tackled is codeine, so I think they should yeah. begin to tackle other drugs. It's very, very yeah. rampant. I don't know. Apart from marijuana, Different we can be species. used for medical purposes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <what>? Moving on. <laughs> Swiss Beats hints um, Alicia Keys will release this track against his baby mama after accusation. Mm -hmm. Now, this is just hint, hint, hint. At, I don't know how true this is. Someone, I saw a reply from someone saying, I think he was the one who was saying Alicia Keys doesn't do this, she does good music or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but the conversation is just there. And I hope she doesn't because... Regardless of um, whatever the baby mama must have done, I mean, I'm not yeah. in a circle, I don't know, but there's been news. She's mm. accused of manipulating their daughter. Their daughter to and call all her that. mom. I think I and hope like that she remains the bigger one. Yeah. And, um, and besides, Alicia Keys is somebody that a lot of women look up to. Mm -hmm. yeah, I haven't seen her in that light of throwing shade at somebody else or saying mm -hmm. something negative. She has always at this positive vibe about her. Mm -hmm. So I think she should keep that up. We don't need a diss track unless um, it's subtle. You know when you, uh, Mariah Carey did Obsession. You're teaching us yeah, obsession. Obsession. You know when Mariah Carey did Obsession and it was about Eminem, but yes. it still sounded really good, you understand? Yeah, but really those good. that knew it, she was talking about um, 
Eminem. Eminem Everybody knew about would it. have known. No, a lot of people in didn't video, know until years, so years later. <laughs> you understand? A lot of people didn't know until uh, years really? later that it was an Eminem, Eminem that she was In wow. fact, not even until recently when he had she, um, Nick Cannon and Eminem, Cannon had, and had, Eminem had back and forth. Thing. A lot of people were like, really? Maria Carey did a diss track oh, for Eminem. Wow. Like, they didn't know about it. Mm. But um, I think Alicia K, she just keep that positive vibe going and just ignore yeah. all of this. I don't want to diss track from but, Alicia K. But for how long can she continue to ignore, especially if somebody's dragging her name to the mud. How well, long do you think she should keep on ignoring? For as long as um, she's not coming to your face and all of that is not. I don't even think the dragon way. is working. Yeah, yeah because sure. your she husband gets. is cool with it, and yeah. Swiss Beats had to tell his baby mama like, "You have my number. Yes, if exactly. you have a Let's problem." This and then thing. she still replied. She's still so she looks like someone who is media. trying to get attention, and then mm -hmm. I feel this is for free drama. publicity for the baby mama to even start with. So mm -hmm. I yeah. think they should just ignore it. This track will even make her more famous. They'll call her for interviews. She'll make mm -hmm. more money off you guys. So I don't yeah. think it's really necessary and i think me. it just also talks about like the complexities of this kind of relationships where you have somebody okay you're married to someone and the person and has a baby mama actually outside. wrong with somebody taking care of a child exactly i'm like that. there's really no big deal really no big because deal. she said she's manipulating the child to call her mom and i'm like okay if she's the one who is raising your child mm. because they are living together as a family unit so then it makes her, sense alicia. do you understand it makes sense to call her mom i don't mm -hmm. and if she's even calling her mom doesn't that mean that she's uh, alicia is actually taking good care mm -hmm. of your daughter so i don't really understand what the problem is and why she's just making it a big deal and she's saying alicia kids is being manipulative and all of that. i don't know iphones and materials stuff. come on please oh, wow. that's even a good thing i mean i'll be happy <laughs> Somebody was she said she'll always like be that. the mom as long as she's alive oh, and blah yeah. blah blah. I so. think she's okay. just she's just having some form of inferiority complex yeah, I mean, yeah. and jealous. coupled with the fact that she's um she probably likes trouble because mm. it takes a person that likes trouble to go this extent. Well, so I think she's Sa um, I think Saz and Wall should reach out to her then since they love girls with trouble. Oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we have to go right there since we have a message for Saz and Ward already. Thank yeah. you for watching. And remember, you can watch this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, La Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to Michael Ankos, um, Ife Olu Oshankeye, and Nimi Dekombi. Thank you for your time. And the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and keep boxing.